Well, it's the morning, and it's the morning of the wedding. And yesterday, after getting abused for wearing my T-shirt by the general public and the people online back at home, thanks guys, uh, we've actually made it. It only took me an extra hour after getting lost on the tube, so we're going to see what happens. And for, for the people at home that were pretty disappointed at me and thought that I was sort of tainting our country, fuck off. <laughs> Baby Spice is here. Oh, yes. Obviously, since the Spice Girls uh, corroded, she's gone on to TV oh. with some show called Inside Edition. As you can see, some of the police here are heavily armed for obvious reasons. Uh, it reminds me of a wedding I once went to, a gang wedding in Taumanui. It was only then I've seen so many firearms outside a wedding. It's a nice day to start again. The crowd has erupted at the side of a bus. I'm not quite sure what's going on. Obviously, it's probably someone fairly important, or they've taken a wrong turn somewhere. What does it mean? Uh, Anti-Royal Rock uh -huh. Reporter. Uh -huh. I've come here from New Zealand to report on the wedding, but in a different way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where, where, where about are you from? I'm from Oxford. I'm studying there. Oh, cool. What are you studying? Yeah. Uh, public health. Uh, actually, I come here. It's not my intention to come here because I think it's, it's not cool to <laughs> visit this kind of world. But what, do you, what do you think of, uh, of, of the, the pageantry of the wedding? I think it's exaggerated. Exaggerated? Uh -huh. A lot of money? Yeah, of course. A lot of cash? Yeah. Uh, do you think that Kate Middleton should be up for a, a three-way at some point to spice things up? Um, I have no idea, actually. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm quite natural with that. <laughs> the girl in the hoodie was right. They were quite natural with that, and it would seem that most people in Europe were keen for some sort of three-way with the royal couple. Maybe it was because they were in the public eye, or maybe it was because they're proving that romance is still out there. But all that aside, it was the media who stood out. Like a pack of hungry dogs ripping away at a carcass, they were there for the money shot of the newlyweds. And surely enough, the media wanted a money shot with me. On location at the uh, the Royal Wedding, I'm joined by Amy from the Daily Mirror. How are you? I'm alright, how are you? It's not every day our beautiful blonde girls approach me. Actually, that never <laughs> happens. Um, obviously, you've come to talk to me for some bizarre reason. Yeah, I just want something from you. Yeah, okay. Um, so, what's your name? Uh, my name's Gumbo. Okay, what's your second name? Well, that's not my real name, but let's just call me that. So you're like Madonna, you just have one name? Yeah, well, I'm not great at singing. Okay, how old are you? Uh, I'm 23. 23. And um, why are you here today? Uh, I got sent here by the rock radio station in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically uh, our listeners did a poll which was, would you rather slam your, ca uh, your tackle in a car door yeah. Uh, or watch the uh, the royal wedding, and a hundred percent of our listeners came back uh, saying that they'd rather slam their genitals on a car door. Now, is that true? Yes, that is true. Okay, I won't write it down, but I'll trust you. Um, what kind of uh, queen? What kind of princess do you think Kate will make? She makes a great trophy wife. I mean, <laughs> we're here just to have a little bit of fun and be a bit silly. Over the last few days, I've been called a whole lot of uh, expletives. Asshole, been told to piss off, and okay, uh, basically abused uh, by locals. Piss off, piss off, piss off, piss off to New Zealand, you're not wanted here. Okay, so can you explain the t-shirt to me? Uh, basically, the anti-Royal Rock reporter, I was sent here... Um... Amy, there's so much more other stuff than just my t-shirt I'd like to explain to you. Plus all the cool things we could have done together. But there just wasn't enough time. You were a young reporter with your pen and your paper, trying to make it big in the paper game, and there was me. A humble, honest, nice Kiwi guy with a dude he'd just met and a camera. So you're not here to cause trouble after all, just a bit of fun? Not with the amount of MP5s that I've seen around here. The, <laughs> la the last thing I want to do is cause trouble. How old are you? 21. What do you look for in men? Um, 
What do I look for in men? Yeah. A good personality and an anti-royal t-shirt. Here we go. I'm starting to blush. When you think of Kate Middleton, what two words come to mind? She's beautiful and gracious. I thought trophy wife. I wouldn't say really. I think they're a really good friends. They'll be a good companion and um, a good couple. Do you know if Harry's uh, real father's attending the wedding? Well, um, what it is is that Harry has red hair because that is part of Diana's family. Is that what you mean? No, he looks like this other guy. That's why, but that's not him. It's because Diana's family have red head. Redheads, if you if you look, you see he's there, and that's why he's redheaded. He's very Princess ginger. Diana's. I know, but ginger yeah. is is the part of the family. If there's other gingers in the in the um, Spencer family. Oh, really? Yes. Winston Churchill uh, famously once insulted a woman when he was intoxicated. When William's intoxicated, how should he insult Kate? I can't believe that a Commonwealth country like New Zealand are asking these questions. <laughs> I, I wouldn't put this on my entire country. This is just me. Please, let's not. Uh, I don't want to defecate on our country. Oh, darling, I'd love a drink. Well, I've been asked out for a drink. It's a good start. Um, and just one final question: Do you think that you know uh, marriages from time to time they get a little bit boring, dull, lifeless, especially in the bedroom? Do you think Kate should be up for a three-way? I think that they'll have a lovely time in New Zealand when they come and visit you. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't know. There you go. Apparently yeah. to come to New Zealand for a three way with yeah. me. There you go. I found some more Kiwis from our homeland and a uh, really bizarre thing that I figured out is that uh, uh, Bruce here, his niece was my PE teacher in Levin at Horifanor <laughs> High School. Got her. <laughs> Alright, uh, I've got some quick questions for you uh, about the, uh, the wedding. Kate Middleton, uh, what two words come to mind? Stunningly beautiful. Uh, Kate Middleton. <laughs> Lucky girl. Oh. <laughs> all right, uh, do you think this this wedding could uh, solve the problems of the Middle East at all? Uh, uh, I'm not really sure, but I suppose Nazi Pro can get their act together. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Winston Churchill once famously insulted a woman when he was drunk. How do you think that William should insult Kate when he's had a few too many? Your bum looks big in that dress. <laughs> <laughs> when you get married, you know, things get a little bit dull and lifeless in the bedroom. Do you think Kate should be up for a three-way at some point? Oh, yeah, well, you know, Harry, was, but I'm sure he may not even be his brother, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's even less awkward that way. <laughs> Keep it in the family, you know. <laughs> Keep it close. Keep your secrets together. You're from living, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. Some more Kiwis here to enjoy the festivities of the wedding. And, uh... Well, it's still going. <laughs> Hours later. <laughs> Finally, the time had come. The carriages were arriving, soldiers were walking around, and the crowd's anticipation had reached a fever pitch. <laughs>